goes, Brito here. Welcome back to Farming Somewhere to 2019. Here we are with Seasons back in Ravenport. So Seasons has finally come to FS19. I thought I'd um, have a bit of a look at it and see how it goes. Um, as I said, we're in Ravenport we're starting off as a new farmer, so the easiest level. Um, and we've got a fair bit of equipment. We just need to work out uh, what sort of needs to be done. All these um, fields are a little bit different than what they normally would be um, starting off early on. So let's go left alt S. Okay, so we're in degrees Celsius. Yep, season inductions on, season length. Let's go three days. Crop moisture, snow tracks, snow mode. Yep, all that sort of stuff. So. I think this needs five degrees for it to start to germinate. Um, canola, potato, sugar beet, all that sort of stuff. So, um, and that's ground temperature, I think. So we sort of need to wait till midday for the temperature to start to rise and then see how we go. But if we have a look, um, a medium frost resistance for most things. So wheat, barley, oats, and canola. So you could probably plant some canola, I'm thinking. Uh, wheat, barley, oat, canola. I would think we could probably go with um, planting some canola and stuff. As I said, midday is going to be the time we sort of need to get to before we can really um, get too much stuff sort of done. So let's. Um, Get some of this equipment sort of out of the way. So you can see the current temperature is 2 degrees, ground temperature is 5 degrees. So we need to make sure our temp or 4 degrees, our temperature, ground temperature needs to be 5 degrees before we can actually go and start planting anything. So I don't know um, everything there is to know about seasons so I guess we'll just have to uh, normal wait and see how everything sort of pans out I guess we change this to seasons let's play I'll save that so we've got some So the cultivator here, the front weight. There's a few things around here that we can actually sell and get rid of, which we will look at doing as well. Um, a few buildings we're not going to need. So we'll get this guy um, put away. We do have course play installed, just in case we're going to need it. I do have um, John Deere tractors. Um, mod as well by Iconic so plenty of John Deere tractors we're going to be able to get and um, use so we'll take a look at those as well I sort of want to focus on John Deere stuff again just they're my favourite tractor and, um, yeah you guys seem to like them too so I'll back this guy and put him away Jump into this guy. We do actually have some stuff in here, but I'm not going to touch that as yet. Um, we're still waiting for the temperature to increase a little bit. We're going to keep our house here because if we don't, we're not going to be able to skip through the days really well. So, All right, back this guy into the shed, into the storage area. Shut you down. What else do we have? That's about it. Okay, so let's have a look in our garage. Um, we can probably get rid of these these guys. There's no point in having these because they don't actually do anything. They're just there for looks. Um, and I'm not worried about having a good looking farm at this point in time. So it's going to give us a little bit of extra money. Um, we're still only 4 degrees. We still need to wait for the sun to come up a little bit more. 
and then we can go from there. So let's take a look at um, our fields. Fields have nothing on them. Soil composition, they all need ploughing. Okay, so let's slow the speed down a little bit. Um, we need to do some ploughing and some lime spreading as well. So I really think we need to look at um, subsoiler or even like a, a culti plough. Um, so they just cultivate direct seed, which I don't need to worry about. Um, subsoiler. 240 horsepower, which and fertilize. Okay, that's interesting. 140 horsepower. Let's have a look at our uh, little tractors. So I have a little John Deere 5R here. Um, we get 125 horsepower for 96,000. Um, Trailer bogs and knock ins. Standard wheel weights, wide tires. Narrow tyres, rear narrow twin wheels, rear twin wheels, standard. I usually like the wide tyres. I'll go. I think we will buy this guy. 125 horsepower. Um, where are we? John Deere. It's all pretty good. Let's buy that. Let's have a look. Can really only go with one of these guys, 140 or 130. I think it's only 125. So if we get the coon, I think we might be okay. Right, start this guy up. Certainly going to be. Um, better tractors than the ones I've got at the moment, so... Right, let's head down to the farm. Make sure there's nothing coming. As I said, I want to sort of steer clear of um, all the other tractors. I sort of want to go John Deere everything. Um, and early on, I think we're going to need to we're going to need to come through a culti plough every field. Might just start with um, the smallest one first. So we'll start at 24 to 25, 26. We'll leave 19 until later on. But, um, certainly this tractor on the inside it does look pretty good. It certainly looks good on the outside as well. All the lights work. Blinkers work. Awesome. So we'll also have um, store deliveries installed as well, so we can get stuff delivered to our farm at a 2.5% um, price. So that's something I'd certainly um, look at doing as well. It would just be so much easier getting things delivered. Alright, so we'll set this guy up, get ready to go. Um, what I'm quickly going to do is, I would like to um, reset all these tractors. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, come into here, and I'm going to sell all these weights as well. It's very rare that I actually use the weights, so uh, cultivator. It's a culti plow. All right, let's go through to here. Let's take all these guys and we'll sell them all. We need to look at um, how we're going to spread our lime. Let's go sell. There's a repaint, that's pretty cool. Oop, 
let's shut him down. He's only wasting fuel. So we need to spread our lime. We need to fertilize. We're going to need to weed. Um, spray for weeds as well. So there's going to be plenty that we're going to need to sort of going to need to sort of do early on. Uh, sell. I'll take a quick look at this as well. Um, there's three stages of fertilization in seasons as well, so we need to fertilize three times. Still sort of only sitting at four degrees, so let's put the speed at times five, I suppose. Try and get that temperature up a little bit. It might be till probably midday that the temperature will be a little bit higher. All those guys are sold. Let's have a look. Let's come back to here and we'll set up um, set up where we want things delivered. Up here somewhere, I think. Oh, there we go. So we get that to, um, set to there for delivery. Um, so crop protection. We're going to need. A sprayer of some sort for our weeds and stuff. Um, I think with our five R, is there a front attachment? There is. Okay, good. Probably buy another five R, which will be able to run um, both of these guys. Go okay, like that. Let's jump into tractors, five R. All engine set up. Um, gonna go narrow tires. Don't need front attacher on that. That should be delivered straight to here. This should be um, powerful enough to be able to take care of spraying. Whether it be weeds or um, herbicide and stuff, so let's um, let's have a look at some placeables. So we need liquid fertilizer. Let's um, let's place it down here. Liquid fertilizer. Let's go our herbicide as well. Place it down there. So we know we've got both available. All right, let's sneak down into here. What have we got here? That's herbicide. We don't want herbicide, we want fertilizer to start with. Alright. It'll take a little while to fill. to look at um, so that should be able to do our fertilization and also our weeds we need to do lime spreader so we need to buy um, one of these guys so spreading discs for an extra 6,000 that spreads a little bit further so I think we should go with that I'm not going to do any extension at the moment um, let's have a look at medium tractors 6M, 6R. It's only three horsepower difference. We can only afford one or the other. We can't afford um, both. I'm not even sure what this is. Let's go pink. Ooh, okay, that's the front. Black metallic. Line X. Alright, interesting. So configuration standard. So it hasn't got a front attacher. That's probably the only problem we're going to have. Um, plenty of different um, stuff we can change though, but I don't think we're going to need. We're really going to need him at the moment. Fill up the liquid fertilizer. Shut you down. Let's get started on this field. 
slightly four degrees. It's certainly going to be hard for us to work out where we have been. So let's um, launch generation. Let's go 3.8. Let's go northwest. Can we travel east? Beautiful. Generate the field. Let's have a quick look. Always on. Um, nearest waypoint. Drive course. I'll stop driving quickly. Go back. And this is field 24. So go field 24. Quality. Wow. Right done. Now we can actually come through and start to fertilize now. Then once we're fertilized, we can come back and spread our lime as well. Still not quite the right temperature to go um, seeding or anything. So we'll have to have to just wait until the temperature increases to say five degrees, and then we'll start to um, plant. Right, so let's spray spray the field fertilize stage one we'll have to come back and fertilize another two times so it's zero degrees outside at the moment but it is still only four degrees um, ground temp so so we've still got to wait just a little bit longer before we can actually um, start planting so this series will um, take over our current um, John Deere series, John Deere Dairy Farm I only like to focus on one series at a time and now that Seasons is out I think we really should start focusing on seasons and playing a little bit more realistically than what we usually do. Right, get that done. Cycle through not you to you. Let's go. Turn it on field deactivated. Let's go stop driver for a second. So it's certainly ploughing. It's the main thing. Right, let's um, get some more fertiliser going. So this should be giving us yep, stage one fertilisation. Then we can have a look at um, going to stage two once we get to culti play out the field. Certainly want to make sure we're plowing the field. That way we're getting full full yield hopefully. Alright so temperatures increased to two degrees so that's it's that's a bonus. Watch out. Oh, so watch out for that tree. Okay. Oh, still hitting the trees. Keep a close eye on um, the temperature. Don't know why I'm worrying too much about this. Um, got plenty of fertilizer in the tank, but then again, I guess we don't want to go wasting it if we don't have to. Right, so that's that field done. Head on over and spray this field as well. 
still only four degrees Celsius ground temp. Still need that temp to increase a little bit. So it's quite interesting that um, our fields don't have anything planted, but there's other fields around. Um, everything's harvested though, uh, they're withered. That's withered, so there's really nothing, nothing that we can actually harvest at the moment. And that's because it is seasons, of course. Set herself up to say 270 degrees. Uh, how wide is this thing? It is 21 meters. So we go 1639. We turn around and go 16, uh, 1659. That should. 1660, 1659, that should give us the right, um, right width. Okay, so maybe 1619, because we're going the other way. Alright, there we go. It does work out pretty well. How's our little fellow doing? He's doing a pretty good job. Can't complain too much. So we've sold all the buildings we don't need. Um, we've got a little bit of storage here. We're going to get some more storage soon as well. I do have um, the Modding Welt uh, Hoff Pack and the Modding Welt USA Hoff Pack as well. Certainly my favourite packs and I have to keep an eye out to make sure that they hopefully get updated with the new seasons um, especially for the snow and that sort of stuff because the snow will form on the buildings and not actually go through the buildings right, so we'll keep heading back down this way and see we're actually losing a little bit of money because we are paying our workers to help would like to be able to do it all ourselves, but this early on we sort of need to just get things up and running. Um, I can't remember what the button was now. Left Alt S for seasons, there we go. So we need 5 degrees temperature. Um, temperature's going to increase today. I just don't know about the ground temp. So our other guys finished. Move him over to the new field. Right, so stop driver done. Let's go course generation. Go here. Build twenty five. Save a field 25 coal T plow. Set this guy up to do his thing. Right, we didn't miss anything. No, that's a bonus. Right, so we'll unfold this guy. Zoom a fair way out too. Don't want to be that far away though. Right, start spraying. Try and leave our map up so we get out 90 degrees, make sure we're sort of running the right direction square with the field. So you can obviously join these 24 and 25 fields together. I don't think it's um, that important this early on. We'll see how we go. I know at this point in time we could probably do. Can we do a little bit of mowing? How's the grass looking? 
it's growing so it's not grown ready to cut as yet so you can see here even with the grass you know it's not growing it's growing at the moment but it's not ready to harvest at this point in time so you can't even go through and cut heaps of grass and make some silage or anything right so that's oops, stage one fertilization for all the fields still four degrees at the moment let's drop this guy off drop the front tank off as well there we go and we can pick up our lime spreader and start spreading a little bit of lime around just to make sure we're fully ready to go once we hit 5 degrees I'm still not sure whether I want to go 3 days or 6 days we need to actually get a lime tower first there we go as far as this guy goes I think should probably we put it along here somewhere. Boom, there we go. So we'll be able to fill it up from there. We're gonna need seed um, and solid fertilizer as well. Probably not solid fertilizer at the moment, but definitely um, some seed. Let's turn this guy around. Let's make sure I don't hit anything else. Go okay, done. Still waiting to fill this tank up. Still only four degrees. So our harvest is really not going to be used at this point in time. All right, so let's um. Start spreading a little bit of lime. Probably going to overspray to the right here, but I'm not too worried about missing a little bit. Let's make sure we get it all covered. It's only going to be um, three runs per field anyway, possibly even four on our bigger field over on the left there, I'll we'll have to wait and see how it goes, but we should have enough lime from one trailer load to get the whole the whole job complete, hopefully. Let's bring up our fields again. Yep, soil compositions going well. Our lime is going down. There's no certain time or time limit or anything. But I can see for when lime should be put down. So I guess you could probably just do it at any time of the year, any season. Alright, there we go. Go through and try and get um, this whole field done. So as far as the mods go, I've got um, Place Anywhere, Course Play, uh, of course the Seasons mod, um, the Snow Blow Up mod as well, um, the iconic John Deere tractors, the Waddingwell uh, HOF pack, Waddingwell HOF USA pack, uh, Real Dirt, Real Dirt Color as well, got that mod installed. So I don't have a great deal of mods, sort of just going to try and go vanilla this point in time, especially with seasons only just coming out. Still 4 degree ground temperature, but we've gone up another 2 degrees, so it's starting to get starting to get warmer as they predicted. Um, as we know with all weathermen, just because they say it's going to get hot doesn't mean it's actually going to.
there's still 60% left in the lime spreader here, so we're going to have plenty, uh, plenty of lime left in the tank. The timer just went off, and I'm going to add a little bit more time. It's the first episode, so I'm going to try and um, maybe go a little bit longer. Right, so I'll head down and get this field spread with lime as well. Alright, let's make sure we're covering the entire field. Get rid of the ploughing. Yeah, working well. Pretty sure we can still, the same as normal, edit the ground, change the ground textures, all that sort of stuff if we need to. When we go and add um, some new storage areas and barns and all that sort of stuff, so just hopefully, um, I said the Muddy Walt pack, uh, Muddy Walt USA pack and the Hoff pack gets updated and allows us to use it properly with the Seasons mod. So it's still 4 degrees outside, 4 degrees ground temp. So we're still waiting for that ground temp to increase a little bit before we try and even start seeding. So that guy's nearly through that field as well. We'll get him over and cultivate on the other field. We'll get our cedar out ready to go. Um, so it does say 5 degrees for canola. Um, average temperature. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. And then we're going to have a little bit of a cold snap too. So... Um, while well, it looks this like today, then tomorrow or overnight, it's going to get quite cool, and then it's starting to heat up again during the day. We're going to get a little bit of rain on Sunday, possibly, which is a fair while away now. Um, so yeah, Tuesday, today, 11 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit cooler. Then Wednesday is going to be hotter, and then. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's going to be hotter again, so um, in the drying potential so that is for our hay and stuff to be able to dry so we can actually collect it alright, so that's um, all of those fields spread with lime I'm not going to fill this trailer back up, it's going to leave it sort of as it is um, we'll probably try and store it in here. If I can reverse it properly, we should be able to get it besides this other trailer. Perfect. And then I'll pick up this other trailer and I'll move it over a little bit more just to give us a little bit more room. So we don't want to have to buy any more um, storage areas or anything at this point in time, so... Let's put this tractor away for now. Alright, done. So this guy's finished culti ploughing. Let's go stop driver. Done. We're going to go field 26 now. Horse generation, build 26, 3.8, everything should still be the same, same field 26, quality plow, put all the saves, um, I think that must be an old, old pass from before, so let's go to 
first waypoint. Get this guy started. Let's increase the speed to times 15 for now. We'll see. See how things progress. We sort of really need to start seeding. Hopefully, like that's that's the plan. Let's pick this guy up. I want us. I want to try canola. And then wheat and stuff. So we come into here. We can look at uh, fellow canola at the moment. Um, we just go. Yeah, we certainly need to go fellow. So it's wheat, and then barley. Uh, what else can we get? The low temperature oats, six degrees. Could possibly, possibly try it. We could do two canola fields, maybe. Um, see this one. If we go wheat, it gives us a bit of a boost. What if we go canola? Canola again, fellow. If we go. Oat, and then wheat that drops down a fair bit. Um, not cotton, we want canola. Let's have a look at soybeans 10 degrees, so we certainly need to wait a little bit before we can go and plant those. I think if we have it set up like that, then we go back through to um, canola again. If we go to maybe Barley. Let's go wheat. If we go oat. Wheat. If we go back to canola again, so it sort of drops. So we sort of need to leave it, leave it empty for a season, I guess. We'll see how we go with that. Still only four degrees. This guy's still doing his thing. So I think if we um we want to work out um what fields are what, I think if we look at the map, go field one, two, three, and four. So field nineteen will be this one. So canola, wheat, canola. You can be wheat canola. Um, you can go fallow. Fallow. You can go uh, where's our canola? And then go fallow as well. We sort of want to make sure. So if we put you. At fallow, canola, oat, wheat, canola, uh, wheat, I think this one we can go wheat, so barley, oat, something like that. I wonder why. Maybe it's because it was canola before. Leave it on that. See what happens. Still four degrees, so we're still not um, increasing any temperature at all. So let's have a look at um, course generation. We'll go field 24, north, west, and we want to go east. 2.9 done we'll go save field 24 seed All right do the next one to here actually get rid of that field 
25. Save field 25. Seed. Field 26. Field 26. Seed. And then field 19. Field 19. Seed. Done. So that's all ready to go. Just need to wait for this temperature to, to increase a little bit. Need to wait for this guy to finish what he's doing. Um, we could possibly... I think we've already sprayed that field, haven't we? We need to sort of wait for it to grow. Probably could spray it again now, but I think we'll wait. Wait to start planting. I mean, we could possibly... Um, test out our fields. So, what was our plan? Uh, wheat. Wheat for this field here was the plan. Alright, 8 degrees Celsius, so it's still not quite. Um, hot enough yet. Show seasons menu. Doesn't actually give us the current ground temperature. No weed. Previous fellow. Be good if we could actually get it so it gives us the ground temperature. Um, let's have a look at miscellaneous. We've got the bumper. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Measuring tool. So we've got the salt spreader. That spreads... Salt spreader spreads salt that melts small layers of snow. And we've got the snow plow. Moves snow. So we're certainly going to need once the snow arrives, of course. Um, so in here... Big bags. Pig, oats, wheat, seeds, fertilizer, lime, road, salt, big bag. Oh, of course, with the animals as well. Um, things are a little bit different with the animals too. Um, don't know why that costs us money to get that delivered, but anyway. If we go to the animal dealer, have a look at, we've got Yorkshire pig, which is one year old, nine kilos. So it's a female. We've got Gloucestershire Old Spot Pigs. Male, 0 0.2 is 158 kilos. Um, the Old Spot is a slower growing animal, but it's much cheaper to purchase initially. Very hardy and great for the starter farmer. We've got the Spotted Pig. The Berkshire Pig. We've got different... Um, different... Sheep and stuff here. They're all females though, which is weird. So I'll have to wait and see what happens there. Um, so we've got the limousin, limousine, limousine. It's a male. So carcass breed, expensive but feed efficient animal. Many will grow very quickly and give a great price at market. Um, Ayrshire, uh, lower milk production. So they'll produce milk. They don't. Um, for the high marbling carcass that can return a decent investment at the market. They get the whole steam which produces milk as well. So the males don't produce milk, of course, the females do, but we just sell them for um, like their weight. So we've got the Brahmins, which are all male. We can buy them and then we can um, they're all exactly the same sell them for just meat and the horses don't cost us anything so we're pretty much just taking care of other people's horses we're not actually buying our own and, and selling them so well, we haven't done this other field yet field 19 let's go here field 19 
Field 19, Cole T. Plough, done. Get this guy started. Let's actually redo that. Is that better? That's better. We'll see how that goes. Um, right, field 19, Cole T. Plough, we won't save it yet. We don't want to have to do that extra run if we don't need to. Alright, so still still 4 degrees ground temp, 10 degrees air temp. Um, we need to go back, get this guy to start again. Missed a little bit there. Not much, but a little bit. So rightio guys, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here. Um, I think I'll just let, let these guys do their thing, this guy do his thing, let the temperature rise a little bit and we'll come back next episode when we're ready to start seeding and hopefully start germinating. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and want to see some more of the seasons FS19, leave a like, leave a comment. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching, see you again soon.